Welcome back. Well, uh, so much happening in trade this afternoon, but for the market, it's still under a bit of pressure right now. Uh, the Nifty is down about 95 odd points. It's been all over the place through the course of the day. First, we saw a recovery, then a bit of a sell-off. But one thing is for sure that the bears, uh, you know, have the market in their grip, and that's what you're seeing on the Bank Nifty as well, down over 500 points. Ipka Laboratory is also taking a beating. Both post its conference call. Uh, Ekta, what went wrong this time? Well, yes, it was a weak set of numbers for IPCA. You know, they came out with their numbers last week, but they held their conference call last evening post-market. So it's really reacting to its conference call takeaways and what the brokerages have made of it. So I'll just take you through the numbers briefly. Revenue was strong. It was up around 8 odd percent, largely in line with estimates. Um, it was the EBITDA, which was down around 30-odd percent on a year-on-year -year basis. Margins, which came in at around 14 percent versus 21.5 percent. And profit at a little over 100 crores. Q on Q as well, margins 14 percent versus 16 percent. Now, Q3 was impacted by high input costs, higher OPEX, NPPA impact in the domestic market. Macquarie, Motilal and Novama have written on it. Moti, uh, Macquarie has said uh, they've retained their underperformed rating with a target of 810. According to them, the Q3 EBITDA and profit missed estimates respectively, but the revenue was in line. The Q4 FY23 EBITDA margin is expected to be softer than Q3. The margin guidance for FY23 FI24 is 21%, so it will be quite a tall task to get there. Lower FY23 EPS estimates by 25%, according to Macquarie, and FY24 and 25 EPS estimates by 9% and 7%, respectively. Motilal has a buy target price 990. Operating deleverage has played spoil spot, according to them. Nuvama has retained a buy with a target price of 1010. They've said that the double-digit growth in FY24 and FY25 is not under threat as the API and generic exports recover. So let's see, there's expected to be a margin recovery in FY24. FY24 in terms of growth is expected to be better. It's a lot of deliverables. Let's see if that comes through or not. Brokerage is largely positive on the longer term. But uh, Sonal, you're filling in mm -hmm. for Manglam. Tell us about Nestle. Uh, Nestle, it is lower in trade today. And that is because uh, while operationally it was a better quarter, uh, volumes were much lower than what the street was working with. And brokerages, they have a mixed view as to how to look at the stock from here on. Goldman Sachs is a neutral view with a target price of 19,900 rupees per share. They say, yes, quarter four of calendar year was in line with expectations. However, volume growth sharply moderated this time around because of large price hikes that the company took in low unit packs. And uh, March, that's why they've cut their EPS estimates marginally uh, by 0.2% for uh, this year and for the next year by 1.1%. Morgan Stanley has an underweight rating as well with the target price much lower. It's at 15,315 rupees per share. They say quarter four was below our expectations on top line because of lower volumes. If margins were much ahead, uh, they remain underweight due to the margin pressure they expect, which will continue. Uh, uh, relative valuations as well is what's something they don't like. Jefferies also has a hold rating with a target price of 18,100. Uh, volume growth decelerated to, say, a multi-quarter low this time around for Nestle. It was, uh, uh, it was a margin-led beat this time. They say management attributed part of their volume slowdown because of price hike in Maggie. Uh, that is something which impacted volumes. That's because Maggie price hike was done, but that is not what the competitors did in the same uh, price band. So that is something which hit uh, their volumes. JP Morgan, on the flip side, has an overweight rating. They say now, going forward, they are focusing on cost, and that is something which will aid their margin. So yes, largely on the underweight side, and who would have imagined that hike, hiking Maggie prices would impact consumption? I thought nobody cares about that so much. <laughs> I know. I mean, and that means inflation is really yes, hitting it hard. Does. They're pinching pockets quite a bit. That's the ground reality. Maybe people right? are getting a little healthier <laughs> incrementally. <laughs> All right, let's even do a quick break on that note. But on the other side of the break, Prakash Gaba will be joining in. He has some.